I think there will be a blurring of lines between uh, universities and workforce. I think uh, that today we saw that GE is moving to Boston because it's near 55 colleges and universities and they want to have access to that uh, educational talent. I think the talent also wants access to companies like GE. I think uh, schools will look to be able to provide those types of experiences. So that to me would be my big thing is that you're going to see more blurring of the line between what was the traditional university and is the uh, professional workforce. Employers will be able to work with individuals at the right age as they're gaining their training, as they're gaining their education, and be able to uh, help and facilitate the knowledge um, in terms of, of making sure that they are getting the education, be it at the university or be it in the workforce um, for the skills that they need. And the other piece that will be absolutely critical will be that there will be continuous learning experiences. So it won't just be that traditional uh, four-year university, maybe post-grad, it will be uh, experiences, learning experiences that will be continuous throughout an individual's tenure of employment. And that to me is that learning will become part of your sort of work hygiene. You brush your teeth, you go to work, you do your learning and the learning will become part of that daily experience. What am I learning today? What am I experiencing today?